whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! So, MR2 racing today. Well, I've been doing a track walk for a little bit. Uh, look at that. That is a nice picture, isn't it? Quick little selfie on the sea. Well, not quite on the sea, but you know. It's the good angle sea we're racing on as well. And with a little corkscrew section. Now then, chaps, welcome to Anglesey. This is going to be the first of two videos from Anglesey. In this video, we're focusing on the MR2, who's having another one of those multi-class events. So long story short, I'm doing this uh, enduro car 24-hour thing with a team, team of lads. Looking forward to that. We're doing the 24-hour race at Anglesey and then Ford KAs, yeah? Now, I didn't realise until just a couple of days ago, there was actually a lot of other racing going on as well such as the Track Day Championship and Turismo X and some other stuff going on with MSV. So what I thought was, if I'm coming down here anyway, I may as well try and throw the MR2 into something, eh? Speaking to, uh, to Scott at Darkside, he, he convinced me just to bring the car down and see what happened. So it was a risk. I either bring the car down and they don't let me race, or do I not bring the car down and then find out I could have raced? So yeah, big thanks to uh, MSV for letting me go. And I guess thanks to Scott at Darkside for egging me on as well to bring the car down, because it is racing today. So when I got back from Croft the other day, I packed the car away, packed the trailer away, took the tent box off and everything. And then I've put it all straight back on and uh, the car is exactly the same. I've not even looked at the oil or anything since Croft. All I've done is change the rear tyres. Got the slightly uh, more scrubbed in rear tyres. I'll keep my good rear tyres for the MR2 Championship because this is just a jolly really. I open the car, I'll be alright. It felt a bit baggy after Croft as we know. There's something on the rear end. I've not looked at any of that, I've not had a chance to do any of my heat wrapping or anything, it's, uh, yeah, it's, we'll see how we get on in qualifying, hopefully it'll just be alright, but I guess we'll find out. So yeah, that's your video from today, MR2 qualifying shortly, I'll let you know how I get on. I should be, I should be about in the middle of the classes, there's three classes, and I should be about in the middle of them, so if I can get anywhere above the middle of the table in qualifying, I'll be happy. If I'm anywhere in the bottom half of the table, I'll not be so happy, but Angles is a great track. I did some night practice last night in the uh, Ford, so I've got a bit of experience on the track. It's a lovely day at Angles today as well. It's saying it might rain in the morning a little bit. Today should be completely clear. But yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Angles race day. Here we go, qualifying. Let's see what happens. Some mean looking cars.
Yeah, it's pushing on a bit. Yeah. Well, you know, mate. Yeah. Is he out there, like? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's just understeering quite a lot. Right, but got 27 all round. I really fucking understeering like fuck. Yeah. Fuck it. He pushed me out, I'll go back out. Cheers. Give me the push. Qualifying's done, just couldn't control the car at all, understeer, oversteer. I'm on old, old tyres, so, you know, I didn't build it to be competitive, or should I say, I didn't <laughs> change tyres yesterday for it to be competitive, it's just uh, just a laugh, but my uh, my endeavours to try and get it round T1 have, have got me another appointment with a teacher, I've got to go and see the, the clerk, so, you know, all last year, I never once went to see the clerk, of course, my first year of racing, and this is the third time this year I'm being called up to, to go and say hello so I'll let you know what they say yeah I'm thinking it'll just be calmed down around till and one but you know I was going in the same every time but the car just weren't just started not gripping it was just yeah but let's go and see what they've got to say all right why did the stewards want to see me the clerk why did they want to see me what do you think was it track limits at turn one no apparently not that's the only place I thought I went track limits off it but it was two violations at turn two. And another two violations on the last corner, which is, I don't think it's at a turn 15, I don't think there's 15 corners on it, but... Four violations in total, which is a black and white flag, which I saw, and then it's a, what's that next one? A black flag, I think, 
and then five second penalty, 10 second penalty. So overall, that was worth 15 seconds. If I was in the race, I'd have had a 15 second penalty. All right, the qualifying results are in. So remember how I said, if I'm in the top half, I'll be happy. If I'm in the bottom half, I'll be not so happy. 24 cars on the grid, I'm 12th. So, I don't know where that puts me. Is that good or bad? So a smack bang in the middle of the pack. It'll be a good race at least. Good content. Front and rear cameras, I'll get them all set up and all that for the race. Hopefully these tyres can grip. But I'm going to be doing a qualifying session in the KAs first. And then I'll be doing my race. But I'm going to get ready for it all now. So obviously I'll show you the KAs in the KA video. Something for you to look forward to. If MR2 racing isn't exciting enough. Ford Cas. Yeah? Pigeons beware. Well, I just remembered something from qualifying worth mentioning. So the tyres being less grippy, right? Bad in the corners for sure, but also very bad on the brakes. I was uh, all over the shop on the brakes. I don't know how well that came through on camera, but... Air jacks. I don't know how well that came through on camera, but... The heavy... The two... There's two kind of heavy braking zones and... Yeah, neither of them were fun. So... Yeah, we'll see how we get on. We're just here for a laugh, aren't we? So... Right, I've just put the KA on pole. Yes. Well, I was the first driver out, so until all the fast drivers go out, I am on pole position for the 30.8. We'll see how that lasts. Um, you'll see more about that in the car video, maybe. But it's time for the race. So I've put a bit more pressure in, but not, not too much. I think this circuit in general is just hard on tyres. Everyone's been saying it, and when you think about it, yeah, because the KA's been struggling a little bit as well. It'll start squealing the front, so just on a fun race here. We're not going to go daft. You know, it'd be good to have some battles with some people, but I'm not going to bother throwing it into second gear at the top. Although I, sh I should, you know, go in second up there, but I'm not going to risk the gearbox. We'll just roll it around in third. Probably lose about, and only, only a couple of tenths, nothing major, but we'll just have some good times, I think. So let's get to it. It's a 45 minute race as well, so I'll just play the highlights. Yeah?
I just got smacked by a Cleo. Check the back end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we removed the rear bumper. Okay. Fucking idiot. Cleo, cut, no beds. Right. Just because you had something in the back, right? Med center after the race. After the race, you go to the medical center. Okay. For a flash. Yeah, no worries. Yep. Is it me or is there more daft lads in this multi-class thing? Hey, look at this, it's a right smack. I mean it was pretty bent before that thing, do you remember? But looks like it's uh, been through the wars now man, look at that. Yeah. Exhaust, still, still there isn't it? Hopefully I haven't cracked her out. 
Fucking idiot. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We got some straightening to do there. The crash bar hasn't done so well on that bit, has it? Oh, same on this side as well. Buggy. Finally bent the frame. It's happened. And the front left, obviously, went into that E36. That E36 had contact on the first lap. And I think I reckon he must have gone into the pitch to repair it. And then he's come back out and he was going a bit slow to start with, which, you know, I don't feel very good, does it? So have a look under there, there might be some treats. Any treats? Any treats at all? Mm, ooh. That weren't there before. Crash bar. Just doing crash star stuff. Radiator really, still good. Big shout out to Darkside, by the way. They said they would help me in the pits. And they did help me in the pits. What a team. Oh, look, the fucking bonnet pins, they don't fit anymore. <sighs> right, I'm doing the first stint in the KA race, chaps. So, I'm going to have to do you an outro, I think, for this video. What is this multi-class racing all about, eh? Look at the uh, look at the rear quarter as well. Look at it all. Look at the state of the car. Yeah, look at this. You have to put some wheel spaces on it now, look. Eh? Look at that. Chasm. I was kind of on my own as well after that, which was a bit crap. You know, I don't know what happened with the safety car. Obviously, you kind of... That Clio in front of us pulled back behind the safety car and then I don't know you want to be in front of it I reckon it was real bad timing on that real bad timing on the safety car bad timing with that if E36 coming out but I think I managed the car well for the tyres you know you could have very easily cooked the tyres like I was doing in qualifying and fucked the job but yeah it could have been worse could have been better and there's the bump uh, still in one piece the uh, rain lights took a bit of a yeah. No, me wires, man. How am I gonna connect me light up without no wires, man? Yeah. It's all right. We can fix that. Arch liner. Probably about time I took them off anyway. Yeah. Oh, was this? What a refund! <laughs> I just take a, a very long picture. Which car? It was a clear light, like me. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that was another multi-class race in the MR2. We've got another one this month as well in a couple of weeks, but I'm going to have a bit more prep for that one. I want to get a new clutch on the car. You might have heard the, the car was grinding down the gears a couple of times. I've been money's worth out of that clutch, definitely, but it's time for a new one. I'm going to try and get another gearbox as well if I can. I see if Rogue Motorsport have got any just pre-built that I can just throw on because not having second gear is a bit daft in it. You know, it's starting to become a bit of a pain in the ass. but Cleo's an EP3s, eh? nmr 2s worst enemy, it would seem. Nice to see that Integra out, that was pretty cool. Saw him on the on the start finish, didn't see him again. Not that it matters, I weren't racing any one foot. Second half at race anyway, at least last last quarter, last third, last 15 minutes. Weren't racing anyone anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the Enduro car now. My time, my 138, 130.8, uh, was good for second in the end. Someone pipped me by a one tenth, otherwise I'd have been on pole. So that's all right, isn't it? That's pretty good, happy with that. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing the first stint as well, by request. I, uh, I, I kind of wanted to do the first stint, and I, I mentioned it, and they said, yeah, no worries. So I'll be doing the first stint, and then the seventh stint, because there's actually six drivers. We've got quite a big team, six drivers. So do the first stint, take about two, or two, two hours and a bit in the car. I mean, it's gonna be long, see what we can do. Consistency is gonna be key for the Ford Ka Enduro Ka 24 hours, which will more than likely be the next video. So, thanks for watching. Thank the Patreons. And goodbye from Anglesey MR2 multi-class banger racing.
Well, he's fucking daft. 